That's Might as well just do. buy another one. <laughs> yeah, right. They've got us, man. Pony up some more. They've All right, let's us. take a look at this forecast because it is a little murky out there, a little soggy. We've had a lot of rain today. Temperatures are sitting in the low 60s right now. It is so spring like. I even smelled a skunk on my way in. I was like, that poor skunk is not quite sure what is going on. But here's the thing our temperatures as we get into the overnight hours start to hold steady. And that's an interesting factoid for me because there's all different kinds of stats that meteorologists keep track of. My meteorologists, I do mean the official data keepers, the National Weather Service. So I dug around in some records and found that we could be on track for the overnight to have our mildest minimum temperatures on record. So the warmest low temperature, if you will. Uh, so previous low temperatures, these are the warmest minimum temperatures in a 24 hour period. In 1993, it was 52 degrees. That was pretty sweet, right? I was in high school, so now you know how long it's been since uh, these numbers have been reached. But 51 for Mansfield, I think we're gonna be warmer overnight tonight. So we could be setting records on the warm side of things in the morning, not so much in the afternoon. Although we're right now sitting at record territory for high temperatures today in some parts of Northeast Ohio. And when the preliminary numbers come in after about 530, we'll check in on that. But you can see here on radar, we do have scattered light showers that are still with us. We have just been in the murkiness through the day today. So far, the fog has really been held offshore and right along the lakeshore areas. But tonight, I'm expecting the wind to relax a little bit, and that may allow some of that fog that's sitting out on the lake to drift back toward the lakeshore areas. So if you're on the lakeshore or near the lakeshore, probably within a mile or two, we could have some dense fog moving in in the overnight hours tonight. Otherwise, it's just this beautiful southerly breeze that's going to keep us in the warm air. Ah, the chill, though, the spin is sitting out to the west of us. Our next area of low pressure that is causing all kinds of problems is spinning off into the Midwest. You can see winter storm warnings uh, in throughout Miss uh, Minnesota, the Twin Cities area and then also severe weather ongoing farther to the south. For us, we're going to ride between all of that, which means more of the same, more clouds, more patchy fog, more murkiness, more mild temperatures. So at least there's that. Your National Design Mar Hour by Hour forecast does keep scattered showers, downpours in the forecast as we head through the day tomorrow. But we are anticipating to start to see things breaking up just a little bit in the latter part of Wednesday and into early Thursday. You can see that here in your Union Home Mortgage forecast. Of course, anytime we have that kind of change, it comes with a cost. So, yeah, 60 tomorrow, but 40s and 30s are on the horizon. And that's where we stay as we head through next week, even get some snow showers back in here. We'll be back with more What's New next.